my dudes and dudettes. Welcome. <laughs> um, my name is Catherine. Uh, this is my first video. Uh, so we're gonna do this. It's gonna be great. So I wanted to let you know what's gonna be in this video. I'm getting some new acrylic drawers to organize uh, these bad boys that don't have a home, which are my new vinyl stickers. We have some unboxings and uh, we have some lovely packing of orders and we're gonna see what it looks like to run a small business that is rather small. <laughs> but I know there's a lot of people that are in my same boat. I only have about 350 sales on Etsy right now so I'm not some massive Etsy shop that's running this crazy thing. Like I'm just this little tiny Etsy place that I started in my parents' spare bedroom during COVID-19. And here we are. So I decided yesterday evening to make this month's freebie the like mini version of the Amortensia, which is the love potion from Harry Potter. So I cut out a good number of these and we'll see how long they last. Um, but yeah, I think they came out really cute. Yeah, I think they came out real nice. I am being a little gremlin inside of my studio. There's a little gremlin. Look at that focus. <laughs> a little gremlin gal. Um, currently trying to fulfill my Patreon orders. I, just, I got so excited about Patreon that I hit publish like four days ago. Not considering that the first of the next month is coming up and I'm shipping out rewards on the first. I got really lucky, to be honest, that I had ordered five different stickers um, that were new in the shop um, and I happened to have those and so I was able to pack them up. Um, I'm just so blown away that I even have the number of patrons that I do even though I just launched it and I'm itty bitty teeny weeny, you know? I just feel really lucky. I'm almost finishing up packing these and then I will move on with my day and maybe I will prep some more of the shop and finish some earrings. Maybe not. But look at that, those LED lights. Also, this is a new organizer. I think it is so cool. And oh, I wanted to show you my Patreon card is a little massive. I, ha I have five different tiers. I think there's five. Yes, there's five. Um, and this is the new postcard that's gonna come in every single Patreon. My desk.
Your dimmer and then the cat <laughs> behind here she has to go oh, check it out honey. has to go check it out she like oh so i can always keep it plugged in i mm -hmm. see that correct it's her dimmer switch oh cool okay So much more <coughs> it's so much more official than I am and that means I just need to like step my game up uh, currently working on this rapid fire drew this last night while we were listening to some comedy shows I wanted to do more of like the Harry Potter world of more like quirky things do you know what I mean so like the quirkier oh, I hit that the quirkier stuff quirk quirk what and I was having so much difficulty with the colors. Like, look at the difference between this. And it was printing just fine in a different program, but I would put it into the Silhouette uh, interface and it was just like, nope, I'm gonna print it like that. So that was really irritating. But I also decided to print this out as like an art print with the sparkles, which I think is so fun. It's kind of like found object-esque. And then I also ordered this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one as, oh, and this one, I forgot about that, as vinyl stickers. So I ordered one, two, three, four, five, six of them as vinyl stickers for my shop. I maybe should have put that one in, but maybe we'll add that later. You let me know if you want to see it. zoomed in I am okay good morning I wanted to share something with you if you are a new small business you might be looking for a guillotine paper cutter kind of like this one you might see a lot of your favorite youtubers or small businesses with this paper cutter god bless them they must have a better version than me because this one has caused me so much pain let me tell you why this moves which if you know it's very important to have a straight edge, you know what I'm saying? So if this moves, then all of a sudden, it's like that when you're cutting it, right? But you're putting it flush up again. Mm, you understand what I'm saying. Um, this right here is not actually a blade. It's just like a really sharp um, edge, I guess is how to put it. Um, you also will spend a lot of time holding down your papers and hoping to the high sources above that it doesn't move or warp when you're pressing this down, which it will happen. I have ruined so many art prints. I've ruined so many sticker sheets and I can't tell you how much stuff I've had to throw away because the cut is not precise. And when you're selling art prints that are specifically five by seven or four by six, you do not want that shit to be wrong because you want people to just pop it in the frame and be happy and on their merry way. <laughs> so. I think this one costs maybe 40 or $50. Now let me show you what I upgraded to and I kid you not, I screamed, I yelled, I don't know why. 
I didn't switch sooner because <laughs> it is just perfect. Oh, hi, Fiona. Can I set you down over here, please? Thank you. So this is the Exacto paper cutter. And there is a lock here, so it doesn't just like fly up and down all the time. There is also, if you can see on my hand, there is a laser inside of there, which creates this pristine red laser line over every single paper you're cutting. So you can line up exactly where you want it to cut from the top and the bottom. This is highly accurate. This does not move. This is perfect. I actually have it backwards. <laughs> Sorry. So like that, these measurements are perfect. I've used them just to double check frames that I'm putting things in. And this is the part that surprised me that I didn't know was coming. Oh, it's also actually a blade, which is awesome. And it comes with this. Let me see if I can show you this. I'm gonna actually zoom in on it for you right here. But what it does is as you're trying to cut something, you just hold down right here and it holds the paper for you. No fingerprint marks, no nothing. It just holds the paper. I think that is such an amazing addition to this that I didn't know I needed, but now I can't live without. Um, this I believe was like $80. So it's a $30 increase from this, but you are saving yourself countless prints, countless sticker sheets. And I just, I can't like, just thinking about how much money I wasted cutting things incorrectly on this other paper cutter just kind of makes me a little, you know, feel like I die a little bit inside. <laughs> but this is incredible. Um, and the accuracy of this cutter is just everything I've ever wanted. This is not sponsored by the way, I'm just trying to help y'all out. <laughs> um, but let me show you what I mean. Okay, so what I wanted to show you was this. Do you see that? So if I'm bringing this in here, you slide it underneath, gives you a little more control. You also have measurements up at the top over here and you also have measurements all on the bottom, which is brilliant. So you have measurements on the bottom here, measurements on the top. So if you're gonna cut it, and it will reset so the laser doesn't waste batteries, so you have to push this trigger to bring it up, right? And when you do that, it activates the laser. I don't know if you can see it. Um, do you see that laser line? Yeah, and then you go like this, right? So I'm holding this with this other hand so I can't quite bring it down. But it will freaking cut right there and you're holding it down, you're not putting a hand prints on there, you're not sweating all over the paper. And then you just bring this down and it is perfect. And see, I even did that with one hand and that is a straight line. Can we all observe? Beautiful, beautiful. And then if you go like that, you can double check the size of your paper flush up against here. Just measure, measure, measure. It's perfect. One where it belongs. In the trash.